Hello all you people. I wanted to talk today about Vince Russo because I got things to say and you will listen to me for no real reason. Vince Russo was born in a log cabin in Kentucky in 1825. That's not true, actually, because that, I believe, was Abraham Lincoln. Um, but Vince Russo, a few months back, TNA got in trouble with Spike, and the wrestling websites on the internet threw a hissy fit, because Vince Russo was working with TNA. Oh, dear God, the world ended. Nukes flew everywhere, and we all died. But yeah, everyone threw a hissy fit, and this made national news, it, you know, big story on all the wrestling websites for several days. What did he do with TNA? What did he write about with TNA? What did he, who did he fuck with TNA? Why were there no penises on the screen in TNA? So this made the news, and it proved to me that Vince Russo, no matter how Vince Russo he, he th screws things up, is still a freaking draw. People still want to hear about Vince Russo. They still want to hate Vince Russo. We haven't seen Vince Russo on TV in like five years. Vince Russo hasn't been a national name in like ten years. He's blamed for the Attitude Era, the crappy writing in the Attitude Era, which the writing wasn't bad. It just, the wrestling matches weren't that great. He's blamed for the downfall of WCW. He's blamed for TNA never getting off the ground. He's blamed for the Hiroshima bombings. He's blamed for the crash of the Hindenburg. He's blamed for Lincoln's assassination. He's blamed for killing Julius Caesar. He's blamed for the extinction of the dinosaurs. He's blamed for all these things. And yet, people still pay attention to him. Now, I'm not saying, let's go put him in charge of a wrestling company. I am not saying that at all. Because I don't think he needs to be in charge. I'm not saying, let's keep him in the shadows as a consultant slowly assassinating people till he wins I'm saying let's put his funky let's put his ass on TV I mean if he's still if people are still going to pay attention to him then throw him out on TV have him play the ultimate bad guy have him say I'm from New York I'm better than you we have Wall Street we have a zoo we have prostitutes. We have black people murdering each other on a daily basis. Which is the basis of my other videos, which went up yesterday. So, watch that. Put him on TV. Make him a villain. Do what WWF did with Eric Bischoff in the early 2000s. Where they put him on TV. He didn't have any pull backstage. And they made him a villain. And it worked. He was the longest reigning Raw GM. He was everywhere. People hated him. <coughs> and the reason being was he was still a draw. Russo's the same way. Put him on TV. You don't have to let him be involved in backstage at all. Just let him go out and be the villain and people are going to hate him. And then when he gets his comeuppance, people are going to cheer Sorry about that. And that's how it's going to work. If people are still going to pay to see this guy, which they clearly are from the big hoopla when it was revealed he was working for TNA, then put his butt on TV and let's see him be the villain, which he's good at. Let's see him be the evil person, which he's good at. And he will draw fans in and people will buy tickets just so they can boo him and throw their cups at him. That's what I have to say about Vince Russo. People clear he's still a draw. Put him on TV. Don't hate him because he's Vince Russo. Don't say we want nothing to do with him. 
If the guy's going to draw money, and he will, he needs to be on TV.